In half a human lifetime, we went from traveling 45 miles per hour in a Model T4 to thousands of miles per hour as the Apollo rocket broke through the Earth's atmosphere. Every great civilization has its defining moments, and sending man to the moon may be the high point of ours. Will that moment prove to be the zenith before our fall? Our civilization today is behaving like a nuclear reaction, going faster, 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 faster. The way that rural population and the way the technology and its destructive power have been increasing over the last century has been exponential. Now, for the first time in world history, we face the risk of global collapse. Of all the junk we leave behind, one artifact could stand out to future investigators as the icon of our civilization. Across the planet, they may find the rusted debris of over two billion cars. The rapid growth of our transportation and technology makes the rest of history look like child's play. But it couldn't have happened without a Herculean source of power. We had tapped the Earth's ancient reserves of fossil fuels dirty, grimy substances with magical properties. The team calculates that just a spoonful of oil contains the same amount of energy as a day of physical labor. A single tank of gas is worth two years of manpower. But there was a catch to our relentless progress. There was only so much of this wonder fuel to go around. We don't pay the full price for anything that we consume. The price is largely paid through the accumulation of past solar energy from millions of years ago, which is fossilized in carbon fuels. The fact that we can afford the military that we have, our ability to send astronauts into space, the size of government that we have, all of these are subsidized by ancient sunlight. And we have become accustomed to thinking that this will simply go on forever. Throughout much of the 20th century, the boom years of oil, the stuff was literally oozing out of the ground. It wasn't just potent, it was dirt cheap. We were like kids with pockets full of candy. We couldn't eat it up fast enough. These are the derelict ruins of an abandoned power plant. It was state of the art when it was constructed barely 50 years ago. This was an oil-fired power plant that extracted only 25% of the energy out of oil and wasted the other 75%. Today we might think, how stupid. 
What were they thinking then? Well, at that time, oil seemed an infinite supply, and it didn't make any difference to waste three quarters of the energy of oil. As I stand here at this enormous piece of technology that must have cost hundreds of millions of dollars to construct and then was abandoned so quickly, I find myself wondering, is this a metaphor for a whole civilization today? The pace of change is faster now than it ever has been in human history. We are the first society to be living amidst ruins of our own construction.